tell you. Tomorrow is the last day of your life. All of a sudden, you start to think about all the things that you've not been able to achieve. Your family, the things that are more important for you, and every single second will mean something. Well, if you're living in one of these cities, you're living 12, 24, 35 months less than was expected. Three years less than was expected. And we think it's normal. We're becoming numb. That's our future, that it gets worse and worse, sucking all the resources of the planet. I think there's a better way to actually conceive our society. And some of it has to do with the job that I started to do with my co-founder in 2013, because we thought that there's a better way, a better way to conceive transportation in a more sustainable, in a more viable, and also in a profitable way, because everything you see out there doesn't make money, you just consume our resources without really creating any value. What is an hyperloop? I will simplify it, maybe oversimplify it. First, we discovered immediately after we launched this idea to the world that the technology that we needed to actually uh, design it were already there. We just had to actually put together and integrate technologies that were out there and they were only waiting to be assembled and discovered. And the overall design is basically a structure that is built on pylon in this first phase. Of course, underground will be better, but it costs too much right now. The pylon are able to actually sustain two or more tubes, up to seven. We use a special ultra-high performance concrete that can resist not only earthquake of 9.2 or the Richter scale, but it can also 3D print and actually design in scale so we can actually build very long uh, um, sections of this infrastructure in a very short amount of time. The capsule is put inside the tube and we evacuate the air from the tube so there's no resistance. Now you can move the capsule from point A to point B at almost the speed of sound using a tiny fraction of the energy. This is the overall concept. So efficiency is the key world when we are talking about the hyperloop. Everybody's talking about speed. It's very cool, but that's not the point. We will be accelerating, decelerating like a normal train, but this without the expenses of sucking out the resources of the planet. Because this system is not only conceived to actually be a guest of our planet, but we can actually build it on top of rails, on top of highways, and also can be integrated with the other modality that can be intermodal and intramodal. So we're looking at different designs, also embedding um, uh, solutions to actually desalinize water from the sea. We take it from the sea, and through graphene filters, we can actually desalinize it. We can embed high bandwidth inside the same infrastructure, and we can also diffuse um, 5G signals in the same infrastructure. That becomes really useful because together with the production of energy that we can do by putting solar panel on top and combining it with the renewable energy, we can create a, a, a solution that can be a business that increase the value of the land. And this is the first time that an infrastructure is conceived like that.